Good morning, good morning. Let's freaking do this. It is 5.32 in the morning. We're gonna get out and do some fishing. Man, it is a beautiful morning out. What is going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, how are you doing? Welcome. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, go ahead and hit it down below if you already have. I really appreciate you. We are gonna go out into the Gulf of Mexico today. It should be nice and calm. It is still really early in the morning. I think we're looking at 544 in the morning on a beautiful late summer, still freaking muggy. Everything's wet from the humidity morning, but we're gonna get out and try it. It's about time to go. made it through the pass beautiful flat morning on the gulf i was able to do full speed all the way through the pass luckily so i got out perfect timing before every single charter boat and their grandma got out here well that was freaking stupid didn't even have it tied around me crazy fish ah, I don't want no crazy fish all right I'm gonna hook a cigar minnow up on my homemade duster rig here it's just a treble hook with another treble hook in the back as a stinger just like that and then I have a little king duster on here just provides more attention since this is a dead bait 43 pound Malin wire. I'll be trolling this on my Van Stall 150X series, 30 pound Yozuri braid, and a Rain Shadow 1087 rod. And this is just a simple king trolling rig with the duster. You can buy them ready made, but I just tie them myself because it's cheaper and easy, and it gives me something to do. So I'm just gonna troll this beach here about 15 feet of water, see if we can find something. I'm gonna toss that behind the boat, and I don't wanna go too fast with this rig. This isn't a high speed trolling rig. This is just a pretty much a bump it in gear go forward a little bit take it out of gear or just do really really slow i'm gonna let let a decent amount of line out put it on the roller and keep a loose drag see if we can get something coming up on a big school of bait here it's gonna troll right beside of it you don't want to plow through the middle if you see a bait school go on the edges if you plow right through the middle you're just gonna scare everything off I just hooked into something. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I got something. Let's see what I have. Might be a Spanish. Ooh, finally. <laughs> I've been making a lot of rounds. This might be a king. It's pretty heavy. We'll find out, all right? Make sure if the hook wasn't already set, it is now. Should be hooked with two freaking treble hooks on there. <laughs> See, in the state of Alabama, you're allowed to use treble hooks. Florida, you're not on natural baits. I think this might be a king match. Maybe. Could be a jack or something too. It's a nice Spanish. Actually, I might keep this Spanish here. It's a nice one. On the duster. Yeah, that's a Spanish mackerel. Woo! Almost fell off. <laughs> Here we go. I didn't bring a gaff, so he's on that rear. He's hooked pretty good. Ah, nice Spanish. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's a stud Spanish. Look at that. On my duster rig here with the cigar minnow. About time. <laughs> got a perfect Spanish mackerel here. He's pretty big, and I got him on the duster. Look at the teeth on these. You've seen me catch these before if you've kept up and watched my videos. But he's going to go home, and I'm going to fry him for lunch perfect fish he was caught on that duster with that stinger hook what a beautiful fish heck yeah There's tons of bait out here so i'm going to start trolling a yozuri i caught that spanish on a cigar minnow but i only brought five cigar minnows i'm getting bit off too many times so i don't have any more baits i'm going to throw a yozuri and try trolling that uh yozuri jerk bait here and see what we can get that way all right i just tied on a yozuri 3d crystal minnow 
Look at that remora. Oh, the remora is trying to eat my freaking. Hey, are you what? You dummy! You dummy! Dang remora just freaking ate my yozuri. Come here. <laughs> You stupid thing. Dang Ramora just ate my Azuri here. Oh my goodness. Really? This is a Ramora. They stick to the bottom of sharks. They got that little suction thing on the top. I am... Did not mean to catch this stupid thing. Alrighty, I did get that one nice Spanish trolling, but the bite has slowed down since the sun's come way up in the sky. Alrighty, what's going on everybody? I'm back home. The bite really slowed down, but I still managed to get that pretty nice Spanish. So he's in the cooler. I'm gonna clean him. Alrighty, I have this big, beautiful Spanish mackerel here. Caught him while trolling on a hand-tied duster rig with a cigar mano. As you saw, worked pretty well, but it was the only one I caught. So he's been on ice the whole time. I'm gonna take these two fillets off of this fish and then we'll go upstairs and start cooking. And as always, I'm including everything I use in the description below and I'm just using this Dexter fillet knife here. They work really well and they're great value for the money. Good steel and this one's made in the US. And we're just gonna do a regular fillet on this fish here. And I like to on these Spanish make life easy. Go through and fillet right off the bone just like this. There we go. All right, I got one fillet here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Really easy fish to clean. They have super tiny scales and very soft skin. All right, there's my other fillet. These are big Spanish mackerel fillets. I love catching these big Spanish. I'm gonna fillet this meat right off the skin so I don't have any skin. All right, there's a beautiful skinless fillet. I'm gonna go through and get these bones out cut this in half you want to cut out this red meat as well so i'm gonna do that because that's what gives that fish a fishy taste all righty now we have some good pieces and i'll probably cut these into smaller pieces here so we can fry these up i'm going to use a black stone this time this right here is going to be some crab trap bait i'm going to go bait the crab trap then we'll go upstairs and start cooking these all righty i'm upstairs i'm going to be using the black stone it does need cleaning because it stays outside so i need to turn my propane on put it on ignite here there we go. So I'm going to be making some tacos and these are my ingredients. So all I'm using today is I have my clean filleted and cut up into smaller pieces Spanish. I have my egg for my egg wash, panko breadcrumbs for my coating for my fish, I have some seafood magic as my seasoning by Chef Paul Prudhomme. You always see me use that. Some butter, onion, bell pepper, some flour tortillas, a lime and then i have some of this it looked pretty good in the store it's cilantro avocado yogurt dressing so that's going to be my topping now all these ingredients you can either take away or you can add to for your taste and liking but i'm going to beat up this egg for my egg wash and then dice up this onion and bell pepper and then we'll get out and start cooking all right i got my egg beat down and then i have my onions and my bell peppers chopped up now i'm going to mix the panko breadcrumbs and my seasoning together in this bowl here. you can use whatever type of coating you want but this is what i'm going to use this time i'm going to take some of this chef paul perdome seafood magic as some added flavor put a decent amount in there now i'm going to do is shake that up all righty and our breadcrumb mix is ready to go all right it's a beautiful day but it is hot so we're gonna get ready to fry our fish here on this Blackstone. I'm only using one side of the burner. So I'm gonna take my half a stick of butter here. It's already starting to melt because it's so hot. And let it melt. Oh, we're just gonna let that melt and we're gonna start coating our fish here. Right, I'm gonna take a piece of fish, dip it in my egg wash, and then in my breadcrumbs here. Get all these breadcrumbs all over it. Don't forget the sides. And we're gonna lay this down. Let that fry. I'm gonna do the same thing with all these pieces here. Alrighty. Last piece is a big piece there. I'm gonna do about three to five minutes on each side. I have it on fairly low heat, like medium low, because I don't want them to burn. So just adjust it depending on what you're cooking on. But three to five minutes each side will be more than enough to cook these fish and give them a nice golden brown. So it's been about three minutes. I'm gonna check on them. What I am gonna do is add some more butter there in the middle here. We're gonna flip these. See, three minutes is perfect for these fish. All right, and then we'll let those cook on the other side for three minutes again. 
have you a container or a plate to put them in with a towel so you can drain the oil and the butter off of them. So we'll pat this down and let that oil drain off of them, but that was a six minute total cook time, three minutes on both sides. So the heat on this was a little higher. I'm gonna clean this flat top off and then we'll start on our vegetables and tortillas. I'll tell you what though, that just makes you wanna eat that fish by itself, but I think it's gonna be even better with some vegetables. All right, I just have a little bit of vegetable oil here and some chopped up onions and bell peppers. You can do whatever type of vegetables you want, but this is what I'm gonna do here. Let's make us a little oil spot here. Woo, that's gonna be good. Man, these smell good. Alrighty, while my vegetables are cooking, I'm gonna try a little piece of my Spanish here now that it's cooled down. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, that'll be so good with all these flavors that we're gonna do. Man, that was perfect. Perfectly cooked. It's not dry at all. And the flavor is really good. Nice crunchiness. Alrighty, these are pretty much done. All right, we got our vegetables done. We've got our fish done. All we have left to do is brown our tortillas and warm them up. I just have some basic flour tortillas here. You can use whatever kind you like. Gonna throw some butter on there. All right, our butter is melted. I'm gonna drain the excess off the back here. But I don't want a crazy amount of butter, just enough so the tortillas have some flavor and don't stick. And once they puff up and get warm, you'll flip them. Usually takes about a minute or so on this medium heat. All right, time to flip them. All right, these are brown on the outside, ready to be plated. I like mine a little bit more crispy, but some people like them soft, so I did them both ways. All right, we're pretty much done with the cooking part. Now it's just time to put it all together. So I'm gonna go grab the rest of the ingredients from inside. It's such a beautiful day, so I'm gonna set up me a little table here and eat outside while we got a beautiful old glory flying and a great, nice, hot summer day. All right, I got my fish, got my vegetables, got some lime, and I have this delicious looking cilantro avocado yogurt dressing, some sweet tea, and then my cooked tortillas. So it's time to prepare some tacos here. All right, so I'm gonna grab me a tortilla, grab me a piece of this beautiful Spanish mackerel. Look how white and flaky that meat is. That is perfect. Gonna get some vegetables here. This is just my onion and bell pepper mix. You can do whatever kind of vegetables you want. Some pickled cabbage is pretty good too. I'm gonna to put some of the cilantro avocado yogurt dressing. So keep it pretty light and flavorful here. All right, I got me a good amount of that yogurt dressing on there. And now I'm gonna squeeze one more thing, some lime on there. Mmm, that looks good. All righty, I have my delicious looking taco here. Let's try a bite, it's gonna be a little messy. Mmm. Man, that right there with that freaking crispy fish and that lime just made this like a really, really tasty taco. And you can't get any fresher. It's gonna be a little messy here, but this is actually really good. It's probably one of my favorite things I've made so far. I'll definitely make this again. I'm gonna eat another bite. Mm. If your taco isn't messy or you're really eating it right, this is so good that I'm glad I made a bunch because I'm definitely gonna eat me a few more. And you can't get any fresher than a Spanish mackerel that I just caught this morning. It never even went in a freezer. It stayed on ice the entire time. That right there is awesome. It's a little bit thinner than I thought it was gonna be, but man, that just freaking is the icing on the cake for a taco. All right, I am gonna finish enjoying my lunch and make a few more, cause this is so good. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, please go hit it down below, it's free to do and allows you to keep up with some great, entertaining, and fun content. And you can keep up with cool stuff like this, where you can learn how to cook what you catch out here in the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. But I appreciate you watching. If you haven't checked out my social media pages, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and I'm on TikTok. It's Bama underscore Saltwater on TikTok. Go check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. It's that like button down below. Please share my videos. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year, and it's definitely doable. I appreciate you all, y'all, who have already subscribed. But we'll see you on the next episode. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.